Okay. Come here. So this area right here, we are not allowed to go. Okay. We have to stay away from the machine because the machine is very dangerous. Okay. I'm gonna cut the tree into boards today. Okay. And if you're standing here, it will cut you too. Okay. So we're gonna be very careful. Okay. All right. Have fun. check the blade it's cool to the touch still not even hot it's pretty wood what do you think yeah look good yeah you're doing good
I can lift this just long enough to get you, you can put it under there, right? dark that is. Wow, that's dark. So, I still don't know what this is, but it's really dark. It looks like a walnut to me. So, if I have discovered a walnut log, whew, that's going to be pretty. It goes from light to dark to yep. really dark. Yep, the outside of the tree is the sapwood, and the inside center is uh, your darker wood. That's your heartwood. Dark, 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 dark. Yep. That's... I'm, I'm really excited about this one. Yes, Let's finish milling it and see what the rest looks like. It's still wet. It's wet? Yeah, it's just a little wet still. Oh. Nice. I think that's probably why I haven't had to lubricate the blade yet. Yeah, it's still pretty cool. A little warm. It's not hot though. So we're doing good. I am almost 100% sure this is walnut. That is amazing. You wanna see what's inside the rest of it? Yeah. One of the things I'm always telling you guys to do is to go check me out over on Instagram because I got all kinds of fun content over there. But what I don't normally tell you about is the fact that I, I upload very similar content over on TikTok. And I asked the question in both locations, what kind of wood I've been milling. And you know who answered? None other than Nat Cremona himself answered and said, for sure, what I have here is walnut. So I am extremely excited to have all of this. I have three logs worth of this and it is just turning out beautiful. We need to go mill up the rest of this and see what I got. Can we stay here for a week or so? Just watch the corn grow in the field. I don't know what's on your mind, but I know that it's something about you and I'll stay here for as long as I can Through the storms and through the calm When you smile at me I slowly begin To realize that you are the one
I'm going to bed for the night. Uh, see you in a couple seconds. <laughs> I'm getting so much wandering on the blade. It's it's wandering up for the most part, so I decided to switch my blade guides to the top of the blade rather than the bottom, which is actually how all the professional ones are set up. I'm not sure what the difference is, but I'm gonna try that for a little bit. fiddling. I ended up with this very interesting thin one. And it's worth keeping. Goodness. Well, that is so pretty. Okay, so this is gonna be my bottom side. I'm gonna try and get a last slab out of that because that actually looks like it has a decent amount in it. Of course, I didn't catch it on video, but I just had a catastrophic failure. Okay, all right. Yeah, this does not belong here. That is the inner tube. Jeez, yeah, it is shredded and I don't have a spare. So, I guess I'm done for the day. Oh man, it went through that too. My blade guide is not in the right spot. It even ripped this giant walnut log ugh, out of place. So that's not even in the right spot anymore. Let's see if I can get this out of here. So this is gonna get thrown away. I'm gonna have to put that back on there. Of course, I'm not gonna do any of that on camera, but. Between this overhead light and the uh, <laughs> the wind, I'm hoping that this ends up working. Well, thank you all for watching. One of the questions I wanted to answer really quick was, uh, and I've, I've gotten this question on YouTube, but mostly I got it on the other social medias, is why am I so fanatic about learning how to, uh, how to mill my own lumber? For me, a big part of it is just learning how to just be as self-sufficient as possible. I've only had a couple of dreams in my life. One of them was to get married and have kids, and I've done that. Another one is to get my own property, and I want that fully paid off. I'm in the middle of working on that one. 
Um, another one was to build up my own shop so that I don't have to buy everything that I want. I'm trying to get more into uh, building up my own furniture, but I always end up doing things like this instead. But I do want to do more furniture projects and just fill my house with things that I've made rather than store-bought items. But one of the biggest issues that I've always run into is I still have to go to the store to buy lumber and I don't want to have to do that anymore. And I think we've all seen what's happened with lumber prices over the last couple of years and that makes it incredibly apparent that you're still reliant on stores even if you're building your own products. And so I really want to try and get away from that as much as possible. There's nothing wrong with relying on society, but the more you can rely on yourself, the less society's woes are going to affect you. And that's, try, it's, that's what I'm trying to aim for. And this goes hand in hand with those of you who do things like uh, grow your own food. I would love to learn how to do that, but I don't exactly have a green thumb. Every time I try to grow something, I kill it. So, I don't know, I might do that in the future. Uh, so I really admire a lot of you guys who know how to do that kind of thing. But what I really want to be able to do is take trees off of my property and make things out of them. Because not only is it cheaper, and not only is it more self-reliant, but it's also more meaningful to make things off of your own property. I have a number of beautiful trees down on my tree line and a couple of trees, you might, I don't know if you can see them in the shot, uh, a couple of trees that need to come down anyway and I want to be able to mill them up into lumber and make things out of them. That would just mean so much more than buying the materials from the store and building it that way. At least that's how I think of it. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about this. Uh, I, would, I would love to get some feedback. Anyway, my daughters have been asking me all day long to put the sprinkler under the trampoline. So I'm going to go do that. So thank you all for watching. Catch you all next time.